Our topic this time is, what R&D tax relief is claimed in the conveyor industry? Hello, Jamie. Hi, Linda. So today you're going to share your insights on research and development in the world of conveyor belts. So please tell me more. Okay, well, there are conveyor belt manufacturers uh, all over the place. It's a very common type of industry. Um, however, many of them are doing quite innovative things involving robotics, uh, high speed, the compact footprint, uh, multi-layering, blending, working in the food industry, packaging, aggregates, multi-layer, uh, PC boards, all over the place. Excellent. Can you expand on one or two of those examples? Uh, one company, for example, was dealing with the packaging of lemons. These lemons were having to go up and down at angles and slopes, and because they're round things, they rattled all over the place. And a high-speed lemon can be quite lethal. Uh, another company was dealing with packages, where they had to move them sideways, upside down, turn them around, stick on the address labels, many things of that nature, which involved all sorts of R&D and clever handling. And roughly how much were their R&D tax relief and tax credit claims worth? Well, the, the Lemon Company was only uh, uh, doing one major system and they were pulling in about £40,000. Uh, but they claimed for the over a course of seven years with different types of fruit. Um, the other company, the packaging company, has been going now with R&D for seven years and um, uh, more than £100,000 per year. That's £700,000 that they brought back into the business over the past seven years. Wow, that's a significant amount of funding. Thank you very so much, Jamie. Thank you. You're welcome. Contact Linda or Jamie to start your R&D claim today.